210 miles north of Dutch Harbor on the 110-foot Brenna A. Thing that's holding them in there is the bait because the hole is wide open on the side of the pot. Nothing you can really do about it except try and sew it up. To protect the species, Alaska Fish and Game requires a biodegradable line or cotton on each crab pot. If a pot is lost, the line dissolves after 30 days, allowing the trapped crab to escape. You gotta start checking every pot now. Cotton. What's the deal here, then? Or get checked, probably, I don't know. If the yeah. cottons aren't checked by the railman as the pots are set, a viable crab can escape, costing both time and money. 32! 32! So that sucks. Costing us crab. Oh, cotton. Are you kidding me? Another one? What the? Obviously, we were double checking all the pots. Stack none. It's the rail guy's responsibility to look at the bio. Whoever was on the rail for this string was not checking them. And now we're paying for it. How the f is this even possible? You got to get offload tomorrow. And the fact of the matter is, there's still some crab we left on the bottom. The crab we could have put on the boat right now. Who the f was on the rail for this string? Brit. That's a uh, wound that continues to bleed. This past week, we're having issues with the gear. Are you gonna do anything about it? I mean, well, you... when I was pulling them up before, I was like, oh, don't worry about it. So who the f said that? Me? No. Brit hasn't maintained gear to the captain's standards. Honestly, I think it's a bunch of little guy. And his attitude? It's been even worse. Hey, Britt, if you want to talk, just know it comes back to me. And if you piss me off enough, I'm going to call you out on it. I'm going to break your balls and send you home crying, looking like a little So, Britt, you were on the rail for this string. How many times can I tell you? Check every pot. We were supposed to be fixing everything. Ah, well, that's a debate. You know, why aren't we getting these numbers? Because it's been so long enough. That could be just as big of a part as uh, a bad cotton. Wow. Uh, I didn't f up the cotton. It's because you're hauling them too early. What? You gotta be responsible for your actions. There's consequences to all these blank pots. Had seven pots so far today. Make that number eight. What the? F Over the next twelve hours, thirty-one pots, five thousand pounds of crab we missed. The damage adds up. A whole string without cottons, and the captain's patience runs out. You now, pretty much a fifteen thousand dollar mistake. So, yeah, I'm bitter. We got to go down and offload. I got to get these crab off the boat. Frustrating as hell. The numbers are, you know, two thirds to half of what should be. Still 20,000 pounds short and out of time. Brent, you can come up here and take a wheel watch real quick. Yep. The Brenna A shuts down and heads to port. So let's have a seat, boys. While Britt takes first wheel watch. We've got some issues. And uh, we don't know if there's a way to resolve them. The captain meets with the rest of the crew. What's money out of our pockets, you know? The answer is clear to me. 
Britt's got to go. My concern is minus one guy, your job gets twice as hard. One man deck. Oh, we'll be all right. But you guys are all for unanimously saying we would be better without him. Aye. Aye. Done deal. Trim to fat. Get on with the program, man. Britain, need to come into the galley. What's up? Well, kind of the position I'm in is uh, you haven't really been getting along. It's just not seeming to work, you know? I mean, where I'm at in all this is Brit doesn't fit in with the rest of everybody on a professional or personal level. But most importantly, I was pissed about the bios. Couldn't even keep crab in the pots, you know? And I can't have that on my boat. Anybody have any opinions? Well, it's just that. I mean, you're not making it very easy to work with on mm. deck. You know, like it's simple things like hold on the pot when they're landing in, it, and it's just things like that. And it just keeps happening and happening and happening. I, I was pretty happy with things that I liked working here so up until this last trip. It's just like the deck feels like it's more of a personal deck. But see here, Britt, the deck's getting better, and things for you have been getting worse and worse. The tension is infectious. I've talked to everybody. Everybody here feels we'd be better with somebody else. And I'm sorry that it's not working out, but I'm going to have to send you home. OK. Well, at, 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 after this next trip or right now? Today. So I've got you a flight that's leaving here. I just wish that someone had said something, you know, last trip, for example, at the end of last trip or before this trip, you know. Um, yeah, I hate to cut this short, but they are going to have a plane here for you shortly. Okay. So. Ugh. Would be nice to have a good day. I think it went just about as expected. One thing that my dad always told me was that the way he dealt with people was that when their problems became his problems, he fixed them. And they might not like how he fixes them, but they're getting fixed. <laughs>